My name's Mark, I'm 57 years old. I was diagnosed with bowel cancer early part of April 2009. Uh, my father died of cancer when he was 47, bowel cancer. My mother passed away with it as well. And as far as I know, my grandfather on my father's side died of the same. So it's pretty well, I think, linked. Um, I was sent for a PET CT scan after they'd uh, found the, the cancer in my bowel uh, to isolate the area, uh, knowing which parts to take out. In Mark's case, the, um, the PET CT scan um, really allowed the consultants to localise the disease uh, and because of that it meant that they could actually just take the, the problematic section away um, so that it didn't actually, or it had a minimal impact um, on Mark's active life. Uh, I had the operation eight weeks ago, recently went for another PET CT scan uh, just to check everything was okay and thank God found that um, it hasn't spread anywhere else, it hasn't gone to the lymph nodes, kidneys, everything's perfectly clear. Um, and it's thanks to this technology really that now that I feel I'm not going to go the same way as my parents did. Um, you know, 20 years ago things were completely different. And I know we all get these thoughts in our minds that we are, we've all seen the worst of it. Uh, but there's nothing to be scared of, it's just, you've got to go for it, it's going to save your life, it has mine. Mark's been really lucky, he's, um, he's come away, he doesn't have a colostomy bag, he's able to actually live an active, healthy life um, for a 57 year old. Um, and taking into account his family history, um, both of his parents were taken away from him at a relatively young age. Um, he, he's been so lucky and the PET CT scan has really played a big part in that and in Mark's management. Well I was told that uh, if I'd left having tests for any longer than what I had, which was, you know, as I said, another six months, they would not have been able to do what they've done for me. So it's thanks to the, the scans, it's thanks to everybody at the hospital, it's thanks to the amazing equipment that's there, the amazing surgeons that really, I mean, have saved my life. I'm now here, free, free of cancer, and soon be able to work again, I hope.